Capitol reporter Michael Hyland tells us tonight the governor is trying to put uh, pressure on at least one Republican to sustain his veto. Republicans in the General Assembly passed a major bill restricting abortion access in North Carolina this week. North Carolina has the opportunity to be a leader in this country. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper made his opposition clear. I'll veto this awful bill. But I need your help. He pointed to four Republicans in particular. Demand that they keep their promises by sustaining the veto. Representative Trisha Cotham recently switched to the Republican Party, giving them a veto-proof supermajority. She's supported abortion rights for years, tweeting last May, now more than ever, we need leaders who will be unwavering and unapologetic in their support of abortion rights. She also co-sponsored a bill this year to put the protections of Roe v. Wade into state law. Republican Representative John Bradford, also from Mecklenburg County, told Axios Charlotte last year, he supports the current law that bans abortion after 20 weeks and said he had no intentions of trying to make the law more restrictive. Both voted for the abortion bill this week and did not respond to a request for comment. Republican Representative Ted Davis was absent for the vote, but Republican leaders told me this week they have commitments from every Republican to support it. Yes, we do. During a forum last year, Davis said the Speaker of the House does not tell him what to do and said, I will vote to keep it just the way it is. He declined to comment when I contacted him Friday. Cooper also pointed to Republican Senator Michael Lee, who won a close race in Wilmington. He wrote an op-ed last year saying he supports the right to choose in the first trimester and exceptions after that, such as for rape and incest. The bill restricts abortion after 12 weeks, with exceptions after that which Lee called for. Cooper says it's still more restrictive than what Lee said he would support. In an email, Lee told me, quote, Roy Cooper deliberately lied about my position on a abortion during the 2022 campaign, and he's lying now. Republicans have said all week they're confident they'll override the governor's veto. He still has several days before he has to act on the bill. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.